Next, I'd like to talk about the concept of the electric field. Here I've drawn a uh, positively charged sphere showing the electric field lines going out from that positively charged sphere. And uh, over here, I've drawn a negatively charged sphere showing the electric field lines coming in toward that negatively charged sphere. Well, let me demonstrate the electric field by actually charging up this sphere. Uh, it already has a little bit of charge. I'll discharge it and then charge it up again. Here we have a Van de Graaff generator. Uh, this works on the basis of a belt, rubber belt that uh, is driven when I turn this motor on. I'll do that in just a few seconds. And that will bring charges from the base uh, through friction up and deposit them on this sphere. And then they'll find their way to the outside of the sphere. So the outside of the sphere will become negatively charged. And so surrounding this sphere will be an electric field, which I will uh, now demonstrate. So we charge up that uh, sphere with a negative charge. And I'll turn that off and assume that negative charge remains. And then demonstrate the electric field by taking another negative charge and showing that the electric field around that sphere then is a very real field in that the field causes a force to be exerted on this little ping pong ball, which has a negative charge. Now the, elect the electric field is due to the charge on that uh, large sphere on the Van de Graaff generator, and that field manifests itself by exerting a force on this uh, little negatively charged ping pong ball. So we demonstrate that surrounding any charged object is an electric field. We can either talk about the force between two charged objects as being due to action at a distance, or we can talk about it as one charge creates a field, and then that field exerts the force on the second charge. Now if we have a uh, negatively charged object like we have here, the field lines come inward, and so a positive charge would be attracted inwardly toward this charge. The field would exert a force in the direction of those field lines. If we have a uh, negative charge, as I've just indicated, like a little ping pong ball here, then the force on a negative charge is in the opposite direction from the direction of the electric field. Similarly, if we had a positively charged object and we have a positive test charge we put out here, that positive charge would be pushed outward, a negative charge would be pulled in toward that positive charge. So the direction of the electric field lines is the direction that a positive charge would move if placed in the electric field. The strength of the electric field is proportional to the amount of force that there would be on that little test charge that you put in the electric field.